You could actually add ChatGPT and other useful AI tools right inside of Google to make you a lot more productive with your Google searches, and it's all free. So all you need is a Chrome extension. So as long as you're using the browser Google Chrome, you need to install this extension called Web Chat GPT. Now, this is a very powerful extension. This basically gives you internet access to Chat GPT because sometimes Chat GPT removes that. Right now, as I'm recording this, there is no live web access inside of Chat GPT. So this is useful for that as well. But right now, if you just add this to Chrome, I'll show you how to use this inside of Google. And by the way, this already has over a million users. Now, let me quickly show you what happens to ChatGPT when you activate that plugin. You'll get this whole new section on the bottom of the page. So now you have web access. So you could ask it very up-to-date questions and it's going to know that information because it's going to be able to crawl the web. It also has this thing called one-click prompt. If you turn this on, it has a ton of different prompts that you could just click and basically feed that to ChatGPT. And you could actually choose these by different categories here and by different use cases. So this one actually gives you a whole bunch more useful options beyond just the web access. But let's go to Google now. And I'm just gonna do a simple Google search. I'm just gonna ask what's the best marketing strategy for a small business. So it's gonna go ahead and do a Google search here and look what's happening over here on the right side. This is the Web Chat GPT plugin right here, the Chrome extension. And it's actually using Chat GPT and it's going to scan through some of these links and give us the answer this way instead from a live Google search. This is really interesting. Something Chat GPT right now is not doing for us, right? And I got a really nice step by step. I don't even have to click any of these Google search results and it's gonna give me all the sources too. So it scanned these different search results here and he gave it to me in a nice numbered list, right? So I could go through it here. But look at this other really interesting thing. This was just ChatGPT, but you have these other language models that are like ChatGPT. So Google actually has their own option called Bard. So I could click on Bard and now this is a really cool way to compare ChatGPT to basically the competitor of ChatGPT from Google called Bard. And this is basically what Bard gave me. So Bard gave me the answer on the bottom and gave me the sources first. And as you can see, he gave them to me in a bullet point format. But really great way to compare the two. And he also has Bing, so I could do the same thing with Bing Chat. Again, right inside of Chrome here. This is incredible how fast this is basically doing this for me. And you could also use Claude here, which is going to require you to log into Claude. But if you haven't used Claude, it's also a really powerful AI chatbot, just like ChatGPT, Bing, and Bard. So it's another one that I recommend you test out as well by creating an account. This one is free as well, and I'm just using the free version of ChatGPT. So all these four different AI chatbots are totally free to use, and they're all available right inside of Google with this web chat GPT. And I think you'll find it really, really useful. Now, if you want to stay up to date with the latest AI tools, we have an entire learning platform dedicated to learning and keeping up with AI. And we have well over 10 different complete courses, not just individual tutorials like this one, even though we have that too. We have entire courses on all the top AI tools, not just ChatGPT, but the top 50 most useful AI tools that you could actually implement into your day-to-day -day work life, make you a lot more productive. You could try it for free with the link below in the description of this video. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time.